Howdy guys, welcome to another episode of Cooking at Home with Fiji's Barbecue. And I just realized all my dirty dishes are visible in the background. So let's, there we go. Look at that. Um, today we're gonna be cooking a chili recipe. Guys, I should also mention this chili has a very controversial amount of beans in it. Um, I've always been very pro bean in my chili and I'm sure some of you will take offense to that. You're welcome to insult me offline. We can carry on that argument. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another episode of Cooking at Home with Fiji's Barbecue. Today I'm gonna be making a recipe that actually has been passed down to me, so it is not my own. I'm probably bastardizing it quite a bit, but these are most of the ingredients. We're gonna be using um, Fiji's Barbecue's proprietary blend of ground beef, but otherwise, uh, it's just a lot of opening of the cans. Okay, so uh, we're gonna get started. I've got my favorite spoon. This is my lucky spoon. Let me grab my. Guys, we take all the knobs off of our thing. Our child is a maniac. So we have to, so that our house doesn't explode in a horrific uh, gas leak inferno, we take the knobs off. So I'm gonna get my pan going. My pan. It's a pot. Um, what was five pounds of Fiji's barbecue ground beef. Um, like I said, I'm making a lot of chili, so you probably only need like a pound or two. But I, I also snuck a little bit out of this for spaghetti that I made last night. Um, so it may not be a full five pounds. You'll notice I don't do very much measuring. Um, that's why I'm not a baker. Really can't handle the level of patience that it takes to measure out recipes, um, and I also think that if you don't have to measure out a recipe, it makes you like more of a chef if it turns out good. Like I just totally eyeballed everything, and it was great. I'm also gonna grab some gloves. Um, those are really, really don't like getting my hands dirty. Ground beef, just start browning it, and then I'm gonna season the beef. We'll also season the whole, once we have everything in there, we'll add a little bit more seasoning, but I like the beef itself to be seasoned. It just, um, that way if you get a bite of it, like it's got something there, you know? It's not bland. You're gonna brown it. This is gonna take about 20 minutes. I'm not gonna make you sit there through all of this. We'll come back. Drain the grease into a container, not down the sink. Avoid a giant fat bird. All right, so I've got my meat, it's browned, it's been drained. I would show you, but we all know what browned ground beef looks like. It's nothing special. It's not very pretty. I add... Hey, somebody's home. Lizards. Oh, he's outside looking at lizards. Are you recording? Yeah. Uh, you want me to go somewhere else? No, it's fine. Come on. So very carefully, I'm going to add in this pretty rapid, like crazy amount of beans. And hominy. Um, and you could add regular corn. Hey, bud. Okay, um, so why it's home. Um, now I'm gonna add two cans of tomato juice. I have a third can, just in case the two cans wasn't enough. I wasn't sure if three cans would even fit, but I actually think I might end up needing it. And I do. Kids, right? Um, I've got some Rattel that I actually hadn't drained yet because I was gonna use the liquid 
needed some more, but I think I'm gonna need that whole thing of tomato juice. So I'm actually just gonna quickly drain these. Quickly drain it and then add it. Guys, I'm making a huge mess over here. We've got stuff back in here. And I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a stir. I haven't added the tomato paste yet. I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna let this heat up a little bit and then add it because it incorporates a lot easier when it's um, already in a hot liquid. So I'm gonna turn my burner back on. I'm gonna turn it on medium because I don't want it to scorch. And then we're gonna go back to seasoning. So I'm gonna season with a little bit more salt. Cracked black pepper. And just kind of a crazy assortment of spices. So my friend Laura gave us this. Um, Trader Joe's uh, Elote seasoning. I really like it, so I just have been putting it on everything. No measurements, just, what was that? Five, five dashes. Um, cumin, you're gonna wanna go heavy on, right? Cumin is what gives chili a lot of its flavor. Chili powder, another important spice in chili, go figure. And then if you like it hot, which, why not? Cayenne. This is part of Patrick's spice jar project, circa 2016. Don't go as heavy on the cayenne, or, or at least not at, in the beginning. Um, you, can, you can always add more. Crystal's hot sauce, Tabasco works. Really just like any hot sauce. Just a, again, just a few little dashes of it, and then you can add more. So I don't, I'm not gonna put any of my spices away. Um, um, Worcestershire. Worcestershire. All stirred up. Because I've decided that it's way too thick, so I'm definitely adding more. I've got a huge can. I don't think I need all of it, so I'm just going to make like a little slit. I'll try to show you. So you see, I just made it. I just opened the can from here to here so it's not like a completely open lid and that way I can kind of control how much I'm pouring. It's warm, it's like just starting to kind of come to a rumble. Um, so I've got probably way too much tomato paste here, but who knows. This is a 12 ounce jar, it's all I had. So I'm gonna add about half of it, so six ounces, give or take. Give it a stir, because you really wanna get it mixed in. And then you're just gonna put a lid on it and check it in like 25, 30 minutes. Ooh. Guys, this is what you're looking for. Just get a little bit, you just wanna gauge if you need what spices you need. I'm adding more cumin. And it's also, this is not spicy at all. I'm adding more cayenne, but also I'm gonna go a little heavier on my hot sauce. Guys, I'm like kind of nervous right now because I've got a toddler behind me. A volatile toddler. Okay, lots of hot sauce. I might regret that. I might have just put a little too much. Okay, some more chili powder. So we're just kind of like amping it up. It just wasn't enough. Wasn't enough flavor. Patrick likes it really spicy. So does Wyatt, actually. Just keep stirring it. Just, okay. Chili looks really good. What do you think, bud? <laughs> I don't think he's gonna like it. Mm. That's amazing. I'm just gonna turn the heat off let it cool for just a minute. I'm not like, you can't serve it this hot. But um, it's good, it's ready to go. All right, we're done. It was really fun cooking with you guys. It turned out pretty, pretty beautiful. I put a little Monterey Jack cheese on, because as you guys know, I like Monterey Jack cheese and a little avocado. You could add cilantro, you could get super fancy with it. Um, you do you, but uh, enjoy your chili.
little post-credit action in case you were curious just how much chili we made today. I ate a huge bowl, Patrick ate a huge bowl, Wyatt didn't eat any. Um, and we still have six quarts in here and five quarts here. So, so yeah, we did pretty good.